Guess what? Yesterday was Donald Duck's 85th birthday. Hey, happy birthday, Donald Duck. So I figured we could celebrate this joyful occasion by making a proper review of Going Quackers for the Game Boy Color. In case you're new to this whole quack attack or Going Quackers adventure, let me fill you in. A wizard named Merlot kidnaps Stacy and Donald has to rescue her by using teleporters. Great. Going Quackers for the GBC is a 2D side-scroller with the same levels and ideas from every other version of the game. Yara yara, you all know this. But right off the bat, I just gotta say that I hate this version of the game. Now, that might just be because I'm overexposed to all these fucking Donald Duck games, but for the most part, it's cause this game just gets right on my nerves with its many, MANY incompetent flaws. If you've been following this channel for some time, you'll probably remember that I touched on this game in my review of Donald Duck Advance, and I called this a slightly better game. But from what I could gather, this is the superior version to Donald Duck Advance. So if you have a dire, dire need to play a Donald Duck game on a handheld, go for the Game Boy Color version. But I'll be honest, I didn't actually finish this game. <sighs> but my young, innocent self didn't know what he spared himself from. Going quack attackers for the Game Boy Color legit raised my heart rate from being annoying. Sure, it starts out simple enough with some okay levels, the only real issue being the camera is flying all over the place, but then you get to magic at a spells level. Here you gotta grab orbs to make other orbs appear, then grab those orbs to make more shit appear, then grab power up orbs that last for 2 seconds and run over to doors to get through them before the power up runs out. <sighs> Also, you need to ground pound these panels, but that took me way too long to figure out because there's no fucking indication that you can actually ground pound in this game. And it just keeps going and going. So, for the sake of being lazy, I decided to skip ahead to the temple area by using a password. But all the passwords I could find stopped at level 3-4, which is a magic of the spells level. So the only natural conclusion is that nobody has actually ever beaten this game. And I can see why. It's just not any fun. I mean, if you were a kid with nothing else, sure, I could see people tricking themselves into liking it. But playing this today? Man, what a weak entry to end the Quack Attack slash Go and Quackers adventure on. Also, the game's a blatant reskin of Rayman, so that's a plus? I don't know. <sighs> if there's any more Donald Duck games out there, please send them my way. I'm looking forward to reviewing all of them because I just love this duck so much. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe and hit that like button. <sighs> Happy birthday, Donald Duck.